Hi, my name is Olivia Refile with Linford & Company, and I'm gonna talk about the difference between testing the design versus the operating effectiveness of controls in a SOC examination. First, how do we perform the test of design? The test of design of a control would validate that a control stated by an organization to be in place has been formally implemented. An example test of design could be that an organization implements a control requiring new employees to complete security training. In order for an auditor to test the design of this control, the auditor would inspect evidence demonstrating that training was completed by just one new employee. Additionally, the contents of that training would be inspected as well. These two pieces of evidence would confirm that, yes, the organization has a control designed and implemented requiring that new employees complete security training. On the other hand, how do we perform the test of operating effectiveness? Testing the operating effectiveness is identifying whether or not a control operated consistently over a period of time. Sticking with the new hire training example, the auditor would need to select a percentage of new employees across the entire audit period, which is typically a 12-month look back. The auditor would then inspect evidence that training was completed by each new employee sampled versus just inspecting one. So, by looking back in time and testing a percentage of all new employees, the auditor can then test and provide assurance as to whether or not that control operated effectively and consistently for new employees over that specified period of time. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please visit our website at linfordco.com and select the contact button or visit our blog, which contains additional information on SOC examinations, as well as on additional services we provide.